Hey everybody, this is Scott Sharp with Fretboard Toolbox and I wanted to show you today how uh, Original Guitar Edition uh, might help you understand how chords are built and what chords go together and maybe learn a little bit more about music theory than you knew before. So let me show you how it works. Alright, so let's see how a Fretboard Toolbox Original Guitar Edition can help you perhaps see um, your fretboard a little differently. We're going to look at the key of G major today and the key of G major is based on the uh, notes G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and G. And uh, as a scale, we're all familiar with that scale. So that doesn't seem like anything that uh, important, except that um, if you know those seven notes in that major scale, then you can see the notes that build the chords that are found within that scale. So the chord G major is the one chord in the key of, of G major. The two chord is an A minor. It's a, uh, the uh, three chord is a B minor. The four chord is a C major. The five chord is a D major. The six chord is an E minor. The seven chord is an F sharp diminished and then back to G. So the reason to, to know those chords and uh, to know these Roman numerals, it's called the Nashville number system, the reason to know all those is because if you can... That was just a real simple song in the key of G that had the note, or the chords G major, C major, and D major. The one, four, five combination, you see it all the time. And with the toolbox, whatever key you're in, um, in the key of B major, um, your one chord's a B, your four chord's an E, your five chord's an F sharp. Uh, in the very various keys, knowing the one, four, five is really important because it's the foundation of our music. So let me show you how to use a toolbox to build those chords. So a G major chord is built out of the notes G, B, and D. Don't worry about these columns. I'll show uh, seven notes in a, in a later video. Uh, or seven chords, but uh, a G major is built of the notes G, B, and D. So if we take a look down here, this is it called the pentatonic jig, something I call the pentatonic jig, and it shows all of those seven notes all over the fretboard. So the reason that some of these notes are in black boxes is because those are the, uh, the root notes of the major chord. Um, I'll be putting a solo video up later, a soloing video, to show how um, those boxes should make more sense. But what we have here is the headstock and uh, the headstock and then we have um, these notes here are the open strings whatever we play when we're playing open and the strings are all numbered uh, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 just like here 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and then here we have the fret so fret 1 is all blank the, it's, the notes aren't found in the key of G major and uh, then we have the 2nd fret, 3rd fret, 4th fret, 5th fret, and we have a dot on the 5th fret. Um, some guitars have dots on the 3rd fret, some don't, so I just decided to leave it off. But if we look closer here, if we want to play that G major chord, what we need is the notes G, B, and D. So if we come down here and we see what, how can we cover the notes G, B, and D. They can be covered in any order. Um, G, B, D, um, B, D, G, D, G, B but as long as we cover all of them we're playing a G major chord so on this sixth string which is the big fat string um, you can play on the third fret a G note on the fifth string we could play a B note on the uh, second fret the fourth string we can play open because it's a D it's part of G B D uh, those three notes. The third string we can play open because it's a G. Second string we can play open because it's a B, all part of G, B, D. And then on the first string we don't want E or F sharp, but we can play this G on the uh, third fret. So if we scoot back here, that G major is a very familiar position um, if you've played any guitar. So here's the G major. Then if we want to play an A minor, we can see what are the uh, notes of an A minor? So we need A, C, and E to play an A minor, the two chord. So we can look on a guitar and see 
what do we play? Often we skip the sixth string when we're playing this, although you could play that E. And we start with the A. So to get the notes A, C, and E, I want the fifth string open. The fourth string, I don't want the D, but the E is fair game, because it's part of A, C, E. On the third string, uh, second fret, I can fret this A, um, which is part of A, C, E. The second string, I want the C from the first fret. And uh, the first string I can play open because that's part of A, C, E. So an A minor would look like this, or one of the A minors. And then a B minor is made of the notes um, B, D, and F sharp. So if I want to cover those, I can do um, what's called a bar chord. And if I take my finger and cover all of the second fret, and then I take um, fingers and cover the F sharp uh, on the fourth fret of the fourth string, the B on the third string fourth fret, and the D on the second string and the third fret, then, uh, then I can play a B minor chord. I'll show you what that bar looks like. So when you can find the key of a song, uh, and if you don't know how to do that, check out my video on the key to finding a song's key. But if you can find the key of a song, and you have a fretboard toolbox, you can see all the chords that go together within that key. And that's not to say other chords can't be in there, but these are your, these are your likely bets. And the diminished chord is, is not used all that often in uh, a lot of popular music, but more often in jazz and whatnot. But, um, so in a lot of popular music, you're really down to six main chords to choose from within a key. So um, a C chord is built out of the notes C, E, and G. And to play that, I can come down here and see that if I don't play the sixth string and I start with the C on the fifth string, I can play C, E, G, and then this C here. And then uh, I can leave that first string open. And that would look like this. And a D major chord is built from the notes um, D, F sharp, and A. So if I come down here, often when we play a D chord, we skip the 6 and 5 string. Uh, and we can play this D open on the 4th string, an A on the 3rd string, 2nd fret, a D on the 3rd fret of the 2nd string, and the F sharp on the 2nd uh, fret of the 1st string. And that D chord looks like this. So we had G, A minor, B minor, C, D. Uh, and lastly, um, we'll just look at an E minor real quick. E, G, and B are the notes that we want. So if I play the 6th string E, on the 5th string I can play a, a, D, a B here. On the 4th string I can play this E. And then 3rd, 2nd, and 1st are all part of that uh, E, G, B notes of an E minor chord. So I can play that like this. So what's cool about knowing all those chords is that They all sound cool together, and they're found in tons and tons of songs together. So I'll be putting up some videos later to show how uh, to solo using major and minor pentatonics and some more things that you can do with um, this section of the uh, fretboard toolbox. But I hope that got you started, and um, please check out my website. And if you have any questions, um, you can contact me there. The website's www.fretboard-toolbox.com. Thanks for your time. Hope you uh, got something out of it.